Good morning. Good morning. Yes, we're recording. All right, let's go. Good morning, everyone. Finally, I'm back on Ask Mark Anything. And I was actually motivated today um, to do this, to do an Ask Mark Anything, because a very good Ask Mark Anything question was presented to me. And um, although I have multiple other questions in the pipeline, this one went to the top of the list for me. So I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do this today. The question is, why isn't trading like gambling? And I actually want to add on to that question just a little bit. And I'm going to say, why isn't successful trading? like gambling because successful trading completely separates what's required in order to trade successfully from the element of gambling. All right. So let's talk about it. Gambling. What drives gambling? Fear and hope. All right. Think about it. You go to the casino, whether you're playing 21 blackjack, um, the slot machine, you know what? I would say more so craps, slot machine, roulette, those type of games. Craps, slot machine, roulette. I'm not going to say 21 Blackjack because 21 Blackjack, actually, if you understand mathematics and you learn how to read the cards, you can actually learn the skill of reading the cards and win at 21 Blackjack and smash that game. But in anything involving rolling the dice, you know, games of chance, fear and hope is what drives you when you're participating in those games. That's what gambling is. It's driven by fear and hope. What's the difference between that and successful trading? Huge disparity between the two. For one, successful trading does not involve fear at all. Successful trading has nothing to do with luck or hope. When you learn how to interpret the actual behavior and the movement of the market you learn how to master yourself as far as patience and discipline you literally will be unstoppable no one is going to be able to stop you from creating a paycheck for yourself so it turns into something that is skill based versus something that is chance based or luck based because you're not treating it as such. Now, let me make the distinction between people who treat trading as if it is gambling. All right, it's very easy to do. You wanna treat trading like it's gambling, pick a direction. The market's either gonna move up or it's gonna move down. Flip a coin. You're gonna go with which direction? You're gonna go when it's moving up you want to go with it when it's moving down and hope for the best, feel free. Will you be successful doing that? No, not long term. You win some here and there. And this is why trading, successful trading has absolutely nothing to do with gambling at all. It's not, you can't even compare the two. And what goes on is people associate trading with gambling because they're in the 99% category of people who lose in trading. So now your natural association is going to be, well, if I'm going to trade, I might as well gamble because it's the same thing. They're going to take my money. First of all, who's they? There is no they other than someone who has more skill than you do as far as the market goes. And 
the case is the majority of you out there, especially if you're on the Nadex platform, forget about it. They is me. They is Team Alliance. <laughs> That's who you're trading against. If you're going into it with the the mindset of, well, I'm just gonna, you know, go forward and see if I can make some money doing this trading thing. So you see, you see how people they instantly put themselves in that mindset. Well, I see how this trading thing will go. To you, it's a thing. To me, it's pure skill that I'm using to create a paycheck every day. Or not, not even necessarily every day. Every time I trade. Every time I trade, literally, I'm going to win. Well, Mark, no one wins all the time. No. None of you win all the time. Why? Well, for one, you, you don't believe that you can acquire your skill. Or I should say, you don't believe that you can acquire the skill of understanding how the market works. You don't even know that that exists. You don't even know that that's a skill that you can have because your association is attached to gambling. So why would you know? You're in the 99% of people who are gonna lose. You're in the percentage of people that go to the casino, right? And bet against the house. Eventually the house is gonna get your money all you got to do is stay there long enough. You will give back all of the money that you might have won and then some. You're going to give back whatever you started with and then some if you stay there long enough. The house knows this. Because it's simply a matter of probability. So the house is actually using skill against you, isn't it? <laughs> what are you using? Hope and luck. And really is driven by your fear because the fear of losing is present, but also greed is present. So as much as you're afraid to lose your money, you also have the desire to 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 in the back of your mind, believe that you might win. And it drives you. It drives you to continue to put more money into a losing situation. And the house knows this. So if you examine it very closely, it's very similar to the way that we actually trade using skill. It's the reason that we're successful. We are the house. If you had to compare us to, if you had to compare successful traders to gambling, if you want to call me a gambler, call me the house. I'm not a gambler. I'm not on that side of the equation at all. I am the house. And if you bet against me and you stay there long enough, I will get your money. Successful trading. And this is what goes on. So understand, you know, if you take a platform like Nadex. And it doesn't have to necessarily be Nadex. It can be any exchange, any platform where people are trading or putting their money on the line against other people. So if if. Person A is putting their money against person B. The one who's able to win successfully and to do that consistently is the one who has figured out how to maneuver and navigate themselves through the way that the market moves, because it's the market movement that's determining who wins and who loses. So because the winning decision is not determined by luck or chance, it's actually determined by how the market moves. Now you have a situation where it comes down to whoever understands the market better than the other on a consistent basis. How well are you able to interpret the market consistently? How well are you able to do that? That is going to answer the question as far as who's going to be the consistent winner. And there you have it. So now you can see that there's a clear, distinct difference between gambling and successful trading. And those are the reasons that I just gave you why successful trading is not like gambling at all. So the que that's what the question was. Why isn't successful trading like gambling? There you have it.
So that, I mean, listen, that was an excellent Ask Mark Anything question. Um, I appreciate the person that shared that question with me. I ain't gonna blow you up. You know who you are. You know, somebody that's been, been in this trading thing now for probably going on about a year, came into trading, not knowing anything about trading at all and elevated to a point where now able to use skill in order to be successful with trading and it's only a matter of time before the money catches up to the skill that's another thing that's another video right there i gotta remember that it's only a matter of time before the money catches up to the skill so patience discipline all of these different elements you guys hear me talk about it i mean i know i sound like a broken record for real because i don't talk about anything else you know why there's nothing else to talk about when you win it's boring when you win it's monotonous it's not it's not all hyped up and exciting it is when you go to the bank <laughs> that that feels great trust me but as far as actually winning and doing the same thing repeatedly rinsing and repeating the process it's the same thing every day man same thing I don't do anything different when I'm sitting at the charts waiting for trades to be presented to me by the market. I'm waiting on the market. Losers are waiting on their drive to, to feel like they're going to make some money. That drives them to put their money on the line and lose. Or they the worst thing that can happen is that they win some. Then they're feeling, oh, well, I'm, I'm good at this. So let me just keep going. Next thing you know, they give it all back. What does that sound like? Sounds like how you do when you go to a casino, doesn't it? So don't treat your trading like it's gambling. Don't do it. All right, so that was an excellent Ask Mark Anything question. Um, You guys have any Ask Mark Anything questions for me, please, please, please let me know what they are. The more education that, you know, I'm able to get out to you guys, all of this information is really going to help you a lot along your journey. You know, the education series, those educational content videos, all of these things that I'm putting out, this stuff right here is training within itself. It's mindset training. This is what you need before you even start to, to deal with and approach the market. You need to have your mindset right. And that's what these educational videos are intended to do. All right. So reach out to me, Mark Fuller, Team Alliance. You got to ask Mark anything question, post a reply. Let me guys know what you think of the question and the response. Um, if you're interested in training with us, you'll see the links underneath this video in the description box. And other than that, of course, all the links for, you know, social media. You can reach out to me on Facebook. You can hit me on Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus, YouTube. However you can reach me. Um, let me know that you want to get into training with us and then we'll take it from there. All right. Another Ask Mark Anything in the bag. Mark Fuller Team Alliance. I will holler at you guys soon. Some of you I'll see in training soon. Everyone else, keep watching. Stay tuned. Mark Fuller. Peace. Deuces.